Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today's episode is about something pretty cool. I never tried it before, but I'm sure it's pretty cool. It's about this puzzle here called Clue Box, and I'm actually not quite sure if it's a puzzle or a puzzle box or something completely different because it's called an escape room in a box. The manufacturer is ID Venture Machine Fabric from Germany. I will put you a link in the video description where you can buy this puzzle box. And there are some additional informations over here. So the duration time is about 60 minutes to open it up, which can be uh, a lot more or a lot less, I think. But this is very individual. So here it's stated 60 minutes. The target is to open the box and free Schrödinger's cat. If you don't know what Schrödinger's cat is or the experiment Schrödinger did with this cat, I put you also a link in the video description where you can check it out. It's a very interesting and famous experiment. If you never heard about it, check it out. H is 13 plus and it can be reset into its initial condition and also be used as a packaging for a gift. Pretty interesting. The manufacturer, as I said, is ID Venture and it was designed by Blackwood. Whatever this is, I don't know. The boxing also looks pretty cool and I hope the puzzle will look the same as the box because from here it looks already pretty interesting. But let's just get it out. It comes with a small flyer explaining you the experiment Schrödinger did with the cat. And we need to find the cat inside of this box. So just let's get it out of the box. Here we go. So this looks already pretty interesting. There are a lot of things seem to go on here. There seems to be some kind of a combination lock back here. Some gears here which are blocked some oh these can be rotated from wheels man this thing is insane look at all these pictures here some arrows some strange signs i don't know what this should be here <laughs> whoa 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 I'm very sure there will be a, it will be a lot of fun to solve it. Another interesting or important, maybe important detail is that this puzzle box can be solved completely by applying logic and not by, let's say, being lucky or using trial and error or whatever. We should keep this, that in our minds if we solve it. It's unfortunately not mentioned on the box. I think this is a hint that should be also on the box, but... Um, Nevertheless, I will try to do this as it is described and apply pure logic. And after the spoiler break, I'm gonna try to solve the clue box and open it up and see if Schrödinger's cat is now alive or already dead. So the puzzle I forgot to mention seems to be made entirely out of laser cut wood. Okay, so where to start? Well, I don't know. There are these arrows here. They can be maybe a hint to start here. Where do they go? They start from here. Ah, okay. Okay, first hint found. There is mentioned start on this slider. So I definitely will start here and then I will follow these arrows. They go over here, go over here, then over here. And what is this? Hmm. Oh, I think I maybe can take these things out, whatever it is. Okay. I need to twist them all at the same time. Ah, okay. So this looks like a small key or something. Hmm. Let's put it over here. Oh, another one. 
this has three holes so we got one hole we got three holes oh another one five holes two and four okay let me just get out here something to take some notes because i'm not sure if the sequence is important okay even if i just started this is already a lot of fun because what to do now with these keys we put them here in these holes there's one hole here one here one here one here and one here five holes five keys ah they ah they have some marks here on the holes you can see it here some small cutouts this one has a number one or let's say a one five four yeah okay this must be right let's put this one in here cannot twist them three four hmm, four four i can't put in and five oh now i can put in four and now what happened <gasps> oh there came a small slider in here that's cool man this is mysterious i have no idea how this works i would love to see the inside the mechanism how it works but the slider is now outside and there's a sign on the slider some kind of a symbol or something now how do i need to proceed now there are more symbols so there are there is a symbol here let's get this away i will just zoom in a bit that you can also see it just zoomed in a bit that you can see it more in detail and there's a symbol here and these all these symbols seem i don't know they look all different but I'm sure they have a meaning, but... Oh, here. Ah, there are some symbols here on these wheels. Only from one side. I didn't notice before. It's only here on one side. Key to open it up is probably to use these symbols. They are somehow... They are the same here. The inner symbol here is the same as you find on these wheels. Here, there it is. Okay, so... It seems all the symbols are on all of these wheels. What is the correct order? What about this combination lock? No, I will not apply now trial and error or try to somehow crack it open. <laughs> I could, I could, believe me, I could do this, but... Um, <laughs> ah, there's another symbol here. Oh, I just noticed something. You see this shape here and this shape here? It seems the symbols can be aligned step by step, probably in the order this lock need to be set to open it up. And it will start with this shape. And this shape is connected to this symbol up here. And this symbol is down here. You see there's another shape. And from this shape down here, you can conclude this, this one. Look at this shape up here, how it looks like. And if we now look at the slider, this shape, shape fits inside here. So this must be the next one. I think I got the next clue. And this is probably why it's called clue box. <laughs> you probably already noticed, but for me, I just uh, it just happened now. <laughs> it's this triangle with two small... Is it this one? No. This one. This is the right one. This must be the first one. Bow and arrow. Here we go. It's a square with a cross. Oh man, this is this is cool. This is really fun. The next one has this shape here on the bottom. Here. This fits on here. Whatever this is. Looks like a Z with a seven or something. Here are the two semicircles. And now only two more to go. Here we go. And this one is a, I don't know, a circle with a cross. So this, this piece here. And now... Hmm. Hmm. 
Ah, <laughs> okay. So there is a mark with a fat arrow here and I just didn't notice it. And yes, here we go. Put this down here. Ah, now I can rotate the wheels. There are some letters. Let me just note them down, what, what's written there. P. Okay, then it starts again. So it's not, not, not a word. No matter if I read it in this direction or reverse, it's not really making sense. And I noticed if I turn this gear here, at the same time this one turns up over here. And there are, oh, there are numbers in here. So on both gears, there are 12 signs. And I'm not sure what how this makes sense now. But still, what do, what do I need to do? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. In the keys. No, actually I have no idea. Oh, 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 oh. There is something inside here in the eye. I just saw something sliding beneath this hole. I'm 100% sure. <gasps> Here it is. Here it is. You see it? Oh, there is something written on it. Can you see it? Let me just zoom in. I will put it here on the table and just zoom in. Can you see this? Do you feel the tension? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Well, an arrow. Okay. We've seen this before. Ah, of course. These are only the signs on this gear here. And probably I can use them to decipher this into some hint. Because it, these gears, if you remember, they are connected. And I can see here a letter that belongs to this sign I, I enter here. So this is the delta and the delta is a S. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it seems to be right, but um, not sure what it means. I think these are this is the code for the combination lock. Star ring. Star ring. Lamp. Oh, okay. So this this is a bit confusing here it seems because there's written lamp. And then lampe. There's written lamp. E. And if you ask now yourself, what is a lampy? <laughs> this is actually a lamp, but in German. Um, star, the ring, lampy, lampe, and the magnet. Yes, it works. Oh, another cool keyhole. Another cool key. Ooh, getting excited now. Did I solve it? Oh yes. ID Venture, the manufacturer and here Blackwood, the designer or designing company here of this cube. And, oh, there's something inside. And here we go. We rescued Schrodinger's cat and it's, it looks actually, like it's still alive, you can see, still in a good mood. So Schrödinger's cat, now we revealed the solution to this famous experiment. Schrödinger's cat is still alive and it's still happy and smiling at us. And there's another, there's another, there's another hint down here. One more step. There's a barcode on here, a QR code, I mean. Let me just get my mobile. Quickly install this QR code scanner. How long did you 
did it take you to solve the clue box? Okay, let me put here, Mr. Puzzle. Unfortunately, I do not know my exact time now, but I can see on my camera it's about 40 minutes. Solving time is 40 minutes. Comment about your experience. <laughs> Your playing experience or solving experience, I can just write awesome. <laughs> oh, 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 two minutes, come on, never. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is really a hall of fame here. This is cool. Everyone can enter his times. You never know if it's correct or not, but it's not too bad. I'm also now in this wall of fame. Pretty cool feature and now I think this was the last step. So this was somehow different today. So there was a continuous progress. It was not too difficult that you can't get completely stuck. But at the same time, I think it's very well balanced that you are able to proceed and solve it step by step and are able to find the next step after searching for it. Pretty cool. I like this idea, I like this concept. Something completely new to me. If you know any other puzzles that are similar to this one, let me know in the comments. I'm interested to try them. And of course, as usual, let me know what you think about this puzzle. What you think about this episode. Hit the like button if you like what you've seen. If you are fascinated by this puzzle as much as I was. I will lock this up again, but I don't waste, will not waste your time locking it up, watching me locking it up again. But I tell you, this is a really, really satisfying and enjoyable puzzle. I mean, you have seen it yourself. Definitely recommendable. Link in the video description. See you next time. Until then, keep on puzzling.